What's going on you guys, Sam Burr here, welcome back to my channel. Now, today's video, everything is about water. We're going to be working on the ferries. I love this area here because we have ferries, we have cruise ships, we have cargo ships, and we have the fishing boats, it's all in there. So we're going to be working on this area, but also doing a few other ferry lines as well and managing the fishing lines. So, and we're going to be building some new ferry docks as well. So it's a pretty good episode. And um, I'm excited, so let's get into it. All right, so basically the plan that we're going to be doing today is breaking up the ferry lines. We're going to do direct ferry lines. We're going to do ferry lines to the city. We're going to do ferry lines to the islands as well. Um, so there's going to be three different lines and as we go through the video, it's all going to be broken up for you guys. We're going to be using different ferries for different lines. We're going to be building different ferry depots, upgrading ferry depots. So this one was just the little one walkway ferry station. Now we've got the two sides, which is pretty good. And actually we use these on the other side as well in that like Hong Kong no name <laughs> style area. Um, and then we build another one down at the cruise ship terminal, which we kind of just, we just mush in there, right in there, you guys will see. And um, a lot of boats and things going on. I give you guys a really nice big shot of the these, this whole bay at the end. And it's just so satisfying seeing everything just floating around, going about their business and actually having all of it being used. Like sometimes the ferries might be empty, but not, in this not in these cases I find that they are really utilizing these ferries and that's mainly because of how I've set it up so it kind of encourages them to use the ferries a bit more because if we did a bridge straight across from here going over to that Hong Kong area that we worked on in the last episode they wouldn't need the ferry as much because they could just walk and they could save a couple dollars but I don't think we're ever going to do a bridge across here. We, it's just, we've got that huge bridge down to the right anyway, which would have cost a lot. So I'm sure they really want to make use of that. Now in, in the last episode, we filled in all of this area. It was a really fun thing to do because we didn't have much space. Um, there's about 15,000 people that ended up living in here. And um, I mean, that's quite a lot for that tiny little area. And they only have that one main road. So a lot of them would want to go into Safed, which is the main city right there. Um, so the plan is to do a express line that directly goes from this station over to Safed, which is the other side. And it doesn't go anywhere else. It just goes back forward, back forward from A to B, straight back. That's all it, all it does. Uh, we will have other ferries coming into these double ferry stations that we're building on either side here but at the moment we're just um, trying to get everything in first before we do all of the ferry lines this part here now I actually end up adding in a lot more buildings into this area um, you can see where that boats where the ferries going up and trying to crash into everything um, I really fill in that area because at first I was like oh yeah that looks okay having the ferry like that but then I was like, no, 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 we need to fill that in. We need to have more buildings in there because it really just looks kind of odd sticking out like that. And I don't worry, I changed all the, the fishing boats in a second. But um, yeah, having it like that, it kind of just looked a bit odd. I wanted it to make it look like it fits in more and it's supposed to be there. Changing all of these, oh my God, that was quite the job. So I'm not really gonna show too much of that, um, but the main, goal for the fishing lines was to get them all to be on the left side of the bay and then all of the ferries will be on the right side because before there was a lot of crisscrossing around it was very chaotic and it was hard to look at as well but the boats would often crash into each other and boats are still going to crash you, you'll see that throughout this episode they still cross over each other but i try to minimize that as much as possible The cool thing about all of these fishing vessels is that I actually make a decent amount of profit from all of these. Uh, you can see we have so many different types of, um, what's that, anchovy, salmon, 
I can't read it back here, something and tuna. So there's a lot in this area. We make a lot of money. I don't know if I'm going to put fishing anywhere else. I just like having fishing. I just like having fishing here because it kind of fits in with like the poorer style country. So they're just going out. They're doing their own little fishing vessels. Whereas the other country might do a lot more like deep sea fishing that is completely off the map, which we wouldn't see. Um, as, as I said, some of them are still going to crisscross over. And I mean, we can't really avoid that because there's other boats and cruise ships and whatever going everywhere. So, but if it does cross, it's not a big deal. We all know it happens. So yeah, it's not a big deal. At this point you can see I'm trying to do the ferry lines and I wanted the express ferry line to be on the outer line but then it just wasn't working like that it treats it as more of a loop so I just yeah you can see it wasn't really working no matter what I was doing no matter how I connected it or disconnected it whatever um, at first it looked like it was going to work I was like oh my god yay it's going to work like that we're gonna have the ferry this ferry on the outer line but then as soon as I connect that a little part there and it just starts running then they all start using the same ferry line which is really annoying so not really much I can do about that like I said there's going to be different ferries for the different lines which will help visualize the whole thing you might not have noticed where we are this is the other side of Basra Island so Basra Island if you already forgot is the island where we built the really high elevated road that goes over like all the jetties and the ports and things like that and connects up to the airport so this is the other side now this one is going to be more of like a I like to think of it as like an independent ferry so the other ones maybe they were government and this one's maybe some I don't know independent or I don't know just something different so they they're going to have um, this new ferry station then the new one at the cruise ship terminal and then I also add one into the future port area but I don't make that one yet I just put it down so we can work on that in the future because I feel like the port area is going to have a lot of industry in it which is going to mean a lot of jobs and to minimize traffic on that highway why not put it put in a ferry a ferry line anyway a ferry station and um, I'm sure they will end up using it So this is going this is going to be where the next ferry terminal is going to be uh, what was here originally was the other cruise ship terminal that wasn't working for some reason so instead of just having it sitting there wasting money let's put in the actual ferry terminal again I put in the double because who knows we might add in more ferries around this city or just around the region we don't know but we're just planning and getting it ready for that the surrounding buildings it's going to be a mixture of commercial there's going to be little cafe seating areas there's going to be some warehouses and some um, residential so it's a quite quite a mixed area keeping it in with the theme of what was already there so what was already there was exactly what i just said that elevated building there is residential then we got the commercial on the lower area so just keeping it in with this with the same theme and otherwise, I don't really know what else to put there. Luckily, it, it doesn't seem to be too loud, so we can get away with putting residential in these areas.
All right, that is pretty much how it's going to look. This little road here, I th I thought I was using a different one. I change I end up changing it because I want it to be just for pedestrians, and same with these roads here as well. So I end up changing it to a road that is just for pedestrians. Cars can technically use it, but it's very very rare for them to use it, and the pe pedestrians actually the pedestrians actually walk up the middle of the the road as well which is really really nice to see and it really makes the area look more filled in it makes it look a bit more lively as well but that is pretty much it for this area and then like i said we're just going to chuck the other ferry station over here and the future port area which we haven't developed yet and that's pretty much all we're going to do for that space For the express line between the Hong Kong style city and Safed will be that little one right there, that really low one. And then the one that will connect up from Safed to the city that's at the top of the screen and then to Basra Island, we'll just use the normal ferry. And then for the third one, I'll show you guys in a second, which is a little bit different. It's an older model. And when I saw it on the, the Steam Workshop, it's actually what made me want to redo my whole ferry system. So it's this one right here. It's a bit of an old steamboat. It's got some, some, some little boats on it. It's got all the wiring and things. It looks really good, I think. Has a capacity of 60 people, so a little bit more. Um, and when I checked on it after letting it run, they do pretty much fill to capacity, which is really cool. But yeah, this one's quite nice. I'm, I think it has smoke that comes out the top. Yeah, it does. If you look out that chimney, it has it had a little bit of steam coming out the top, which is a nice little touch as well. So that steam one will go from the port area to the cruise ship terminal, then to the other side of Basra Island, and then it'll come into Safed and that's pretty much it. And then just to finish up, we're gonna fin we're going to fill in this area right here next to the Hong Kong Airport City, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't have a name. And um, I also put in one of those fishing docks just to add a little bit more depth. It I don't turn it on because we already have enough fishing in the in the area anyway. It's really just for looks. And then since there's like 10 million um, little floating things, you can. S What's it called? Boys? The floating boys or buoys boys? Um, I use a mod to get rid of those because they are quite ugly and yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I put in a lot of high rise buildings in this spot as well. I was like, is it going to fit? Is it not going to fit? Is it going to look out of place? But no, it looks pretty good and let's leave it at that. So I'll give you guys a nice quick final look of everything. And then I've actually got the next episode up and ready to go. So it shouldn't be too long before the next episode. But thank you guys for watching and hope you guys enjoy seeing all the little boats and ferries and things zooming around the bay. Mm -hmm.